Shepard, but you're dead. Well, Mass Effect 2 is the dark second chapter to the Mass Effect trilogy. It's, uh, it's a new, new take on the, on the Mass Effect universe. You return as Commander Shepard. There's, you know, humanity is vanishing throughout the galaxy, and you, and you have to embark on what, what many are referring to in the game as a suicide mission to, to try and solve this mystery. And you have to recruit a, a team of uh, some of the most dangerous, powerful individuals in the galaxy to accompany you on that quest to overcome the, the challenges. As long as I get to hurt someone. <laughs> The grunt character, he's a Krogan, he's a, he's a tough guy, he's pretty brutal, he's a, got a lot of interesting personality traits, and he's going to help you overcome this uh, really interesting area, um, among others, you know, the Omega Space Station is kind of a kind of a seedy, part of the seedy underworld that you have to explore, it's one of the areas in the game, so we want players to have the fun of exploring that on their own, but it's a pretty cool place. Brace for evasive maneuvers! You know, it really shows off some of the, the things we're doing in Mass Effect 2 that are big innovations over how we approach Mass Effect 1. One of the things that stands out is just the intensity of the experience is really high. We're, we're developing this game as much as a shooter in terms of the action intensity experience in the combat as we are as an RPG. So it's still got the rich RPG depth and the great story and digital actors and expressivity and all the great stuff people love with the narrative flow. But it's also got really amazing combat with the precise shooter controls, moment-to-moment uh, -moment squad control over your, over your team, um, you know, a cover system that you can use to deploy your squad, smart AI, and a whole range of other features. Exploration is more integrated into the main experience with Uncharted Worlds, still optional, but very high fidelity, handcrafted, and now they're going to actually in, in chance, increase your chances of survival on this suicide mission in this dark second act. Well, I think it's great to, to, to contemplate building a trilogy like we're doing in Mass Effect and allow players to feel like there's continuity between the games and to really feel like they get to continue what they started in the first game or the second game or beyond. So that's really what we're trying to do with Mass Effect and I think fans are going to really love it.